Okay, this is 7654, 7654, which gives you a 4x4 four four hexagon. I did that quickly so it's not very neat. And then cut the surface off it. Oh, that's super sure. That's a straighter one. That's a straighter. If the holes are too small, then they'll fill up with blades. But if they're too big, they'll level the two, two loops through. Okay. These burrs on the inside, take them off when it's dry. Okay. Don't try and take them off now because you just plug up the holes again. I want this spout to come off at an angle like that. So that's how I cut it. So that I get the curve that I want, I flare that top edge a bit more. sit nicely over there. Compress it in. The wooden pegging tool, uh, the pointy. Oh, that's the Thank you, Delvin. Okay, and run that around the joint. And that is now joined. And that's all you do with that. Don't need to add coils or anything to it. That's done. But it's sticking out far too high. The height of this should be just below this rim. Okay. The reason for that is that when you turn it upside down on the washer, If the spout sticks out too much, it'll rock. But if it's just one millimetre above the table like that, then when you turn it upside down to drain, it's not going to break the end of the spout. And I've cut that on an angle like that so that as it, when it fires, it'll untwist. So it'll untwist. They, they twist always. Do they always twist the same way? Um, depends on how much compression is. Because the spiral's going that way, it'll untwist that way. Okay. So depending on how compressed it is, it'll untwist. Sometimes they don't untwist. If you're not compressing your clay very much, or it's a very loose body, um, then it doesn't untwist at all, it doesn't move. But with this body being porcelainous, in the firing, it'll move slightly. It's got a bit of memory. Okay. Now, 